Hi, I'm John Dixon, a trainer in scientific writing, and here's a bite that I hope may help you with your writing. Using abbreviations and acronyms. An abbreviation is a single letter or series of letters used as a shortened form of a word or phrase. The individual letters are often pronounced. So, DNA, NMR, EG. An acronym is a type of abbreviation in which the letters form a pronounceable word. So, consort, pet, laser, scuba. Abbreviations should be used to save space and time, to avoid repetition of long words and phrases, or to conform to conventional usage. So, don't you just hate this sort of statement? PDQ was used to compare the OP of ABC and XYZ at D3 in CF. Some abbreviations don't need to be defined, such as SI and SI derived units, S for seconds, min for minutes, and so on. And you don't need to define well known abbreviations that are widely known or certainly widely used within a discipline. For example, DNA and EG are both widely known, and CABG is well known by healthcare professionals. So, define an abbreviation at first use. Write the full expression, followed by the abbreviation in parentheses. Human chorionic gonadotrophin, and in parentheses HCG, is produced by the placenta during pregnancy. Be careful not to define using a plural in the definition, and then give the singular of the abbreviation. So it's incorrect to write, people go to general practitioners, GP, for medical advice. Correctly written, it would be better to write, people go to a general practitioner, GP, for medical advice. Here are some tips about when to abbreviate and when not to abbreviate. The Chicago Manual of Style suggests using abbreviations if they're to be used around five or more times in an article. It's not helpful to define and introduce an abbreviation if the abbreviation is never or rarely to be used again in the document. Don't use abbreviations for shorter words or phrases. If defined in the abstract, redefine the abbreviation in the article body. Avoid abbreviations that can cause confusion or ambiguity. For instance, NAD can be used to mean no abnormality detected or nicotinamide admin dinucleotide. Self-invented abbreviations can be useful for complex terms used frequently, but do define them on first use. Finally, refer to a style guide whenever possible to ensure you use abbreviations correctly and be consistent throughout a document. Here are some of the style guides I use. Well, I hope that's helpful. For more bites to help you with your writing, visit Network Farmer TV.